So anyways, I continued along that pathway and it took me up to a pedestrian bridge, uh, which took me across the East River over to uh, Randall's Island. And that bridge to go across was, was pretty neat. It, uh, it was a lift bridge, and uh, that's so that big ships can go through. They lift the center section of the bridge up in the air, and, uh, and big ships can pass. Um, but anyways, I, I crossed that bridge, and I got over to Randall's Island. And Randall's Island is a, a pretty neat island. Um, there's, there's no residential or anything on it, really. It's, it's just a big park. Basically, there's, there's lots, of, lots of different activities that are going on on, on the Saturday afternoon. Uh, there was, I saw people playing soccer and, and rugby and uh, there's lots of baseball fields. They even have a, a golf center they call it. It's not a full golf course or anything but there's a uh, what's it called? mini putt and there's, a, um, there's also a, a driving range. Uh, that, was, that was neat to see. They also had a big stadium there um, which I, I think it might, might have been for football. It might have been for soccer. I, I wasn't really sure uh, but I saw that. Uh, but the other thing that, that Randall's Island is, is known for is that it's uh, there's a lot of bridges that, that go across it, and it's, they're called the, the Triborough Bridges, which connect the three different uh, the three different boroughs, uh, being the Bronx, Manhattan, and uh, Queens. So um, I guess they have um, lots of different bridges that cross, and then they kind of merge in the middle in such a way that you can get between all three different combinations. So as a result of there being all those bridges, in the middle of the island there's this big covered area which there's bridges all above you and, and you can't, uh, and uh, it's like a roof that's over top of you and they had a big parking lot underneath, underneath that for, I guess, probably for the stadium. Um, but I was neat, neat to see all the bridges, of course. Um, uh, those bridges were built uh, many years ago and, and they're, some of them were, were really big, uh, particularly the one uh, that goes to Manhattan was, was really really big. So there was just lots and lots of bridges and I enjoyed looking at them. Uh, the one that uh, goes across to Manhattan is another lift bridge, uh, which is just like the pedestrian bridge. So I saw, I've looked at that and looked at all the bridges really. It was just, just neat looking at, at, at big bridges uh, from, from below them particularly. Um, but anyways, after I had uh, traveled and uh, explored all over Randall's Island and you know, taking in all the scenery, I found the bridge that I needed to take to get to the Bronx and uh, that bridge I, I rode up to it and they had this sign that said uh, no or photography prohibited no cameras or, or any, no taking pictures and I, I couldn't really understand why what what they're trying to protect um, with uh, you know people not being allowed to take pictures but uh, uh, I obeyed the sign and uh, I went across there's no footage from that but uh, it was pretty neat nice nice scenery uh, looking out uh, Looking out uh, down the river. Uh, anyways, I got into Harl or into the Bronx. Uh, I didn't really have anywhere in particular in the Bronx that I wanted to see. I just, you know, I wanted to just see the Bronx. I wanted to see, you know, what it was like to be in the Bronx. The only one landmark that I had that I really uh, wanted to see, or that I really that I had written down that I wanted to see, uh, was Yankee Stadium, which is, you know, a very large stadium. Um, Right, right in built in the Bronx, so um, that was the only place I needed to see. Um, so I basically just wandered through the streets um, on my way from the bottom of that bridge um, up to where Yankee Stadium was, and uh, I really got I got a good good experience seeing all of the the different uh, neighborhoods or different uh, the different feel that you get in the Bronx compared to Manhattan or the parts of Manhattan that I'd seen so far. Um, it didn't really feel unsafe or anything. It was, uh, you know, it was it's fairly run down. I think that's higher crime in, in the Bronx than in uh, Manhattan, but uh, I, I did feel safe while I was there. You know, another thing I noticed about the Bronx compared to the lower Manhattan parts that I've been uh, seeing so far is that it was much more hilly. Everything was really steep in hills. You'd always be having to go up and down uh, different different hills and uh, the streets weren't as straight they did like they had some numbered streets but a lot of them weren't and they had more avenues than in Manhattan um, so a little bit hard to, to get around there but I did have a, a map with me um, which I used a few times another thing I noticed there is that they had these big elevated subway train um, transportation devices um, in, in the Bronx 
and uh, so those were different than uh, the subway, which is you know totally almost totally underground. So, anyways, I found my way over towards uh, Yankee Stadium, and uh, I you know kind of did a little lap around the outside and looked at it. And uh, you know it's a it's a big building. That's actually the new Yankee Stadium. It was only built two or three years ago. The original Yankee Stadium uh, has since been torn down. Um, but I mean, the new stadium is still very big, and uh, you know, it's a, an important landmark. Uh, you can't really see a whole lot from uh, from from street level just outside of it. I saw these stairs that uh, you know a few blocks away. There are these stairs you could climb um, up to a, a uh, like an elevated point, which I thought you may, might be able to see like inside the stadium. Uh, so I tried that and I went up there, but uh, um, you couldn't really see. Where it was, there was trees in the way. You couldn't really see in the direction of, of Yankee Stadium. But uh, anyways, it was, it was neat seeing it uh, from the angles that I did see it. So anyways, after I saw that, I was I was getting pretty hungry for my lunch. I think it was like 4:30 in the afternoon. I, you know, it wasn't really a lunch, but uh, uh, you know, I was hungry. It had been it had been about five hours since I had breakfast, so uh, I was feeling pretty hungry. And uh, so when I when I had been riding uh, earlier before I got to Yankee Stadium. I had seen, or I, I had smelled actually quite a few um, restaurants that were, were uh, specializing in fried chicken, and that smelled pretty good, so I thought that's what I should eat when I was in the Bronx. So uh, I, after I left that Yankee Stadium, I wandered around the streets trying to find a restaurant that, that specialized in fried chicken. So my criteria was that I needed to find a restaurant that had the words fried chicken in the title, you know, like Kentucky Fried Chicken, except... Of course, I didn't want to go to Kentucky Fried Chicken because you can go to Kentucky Fried Chicken anywhere. Um, so anyways, I, I looked around for a place like that, and I'd already seen like two or three of them when I was uh, coming towards Yankee Stadium, and I figured it would be no problem finding more fried chicken places, but it actually took like 15 or 20 minutes to actually find one that fit my criteria, but I found one, and uh, I went in and I, I ordered uh, some chicken, and uh, it was all right. I was I was actually disappointed by it though. It wasn't uh, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. It was, it was the restaurant that I chose maybe was the problem, but uh, it was it was kind of dry and uh, I don't know really really tough to chew on and uh, I wasn't really very happy with it. But it was very exp inexpensive meal. It was only five dollars, so I wasn't wasn't too unhappy with it. But uh, so after finishing my chicken, I, I needed to use the washroom and I realized that. The restaurant that I had chosen didn't have a washroom, so I didn't. I uh, decided I would go across the street to the McDonald's just to use their washroom. And uh, as, as soon as I went inside, uh, I got to the washroom and the door was locked. And there was a sign on it that said, "You know, the bathroom is is for for customers only." And I I was just reading more about how what you had to do to get the key to it or whatever. And uh, one of the McDonald's employees came up behind me and said, "Oh, do you need to use the washroom?" said, oh, do you have your receipt? And I said, oh, no, I don't have my receipt. And I started walking. I was planning on just leaving and, and maybe going somewhere else. I said, oh, no, I'll, I'll let you in. And uh, I said, oh, okay. And so he let me inside. And then, well, I was I was planning on just leaving and, and maybe going somewhere else uh, because I already had eaten my meal and I wasn't really particularly hungry for more. But uh, um, after he let me into the washroom, I kind of felt guilty having used a customer's-only washroom with uh, going in. And, and that guy was standing right there after I left, so... <laughs> Uh, I was gonna feel guilty if I, I didn't I didn't buy something, so I went and stood in line and I got a uh, uh, I ordered a uh, a soft serve vanilla cone ice cream cone, and uh, and that that seemed like a good good way to finish off my meal. It was just you know a small little snack to have, um, but uh, for whatever reason uh, the woman that uh, took my order marked down that I wanted two cones. And uh, I didn't really pay too much attention to uh, the price. You know, it was a small number, and I figured that that was about right for one ice cream cone. But apparently I charged for two, and I paid for it. And uh, <laughs> as I was leaving, she said, oh, your other cone, you need to get your other cone. And I, she gave me two ice cream cones. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, so I wasn't, I hadn't got, I went into McDonald's with the intent of just using the washroom and not buying anything. And. Somehow they tricked me into buying two ice cream cones, and uh, I needed to eat those really quickly before they melted so I could get back on my bike and continue my day. So anyways, it wasn't too much trouble at all finding my way uh, back to Manhattan. It was only a few streets from where I was.